On to Somalia now. The country's deaf footballers have come together to create their own league after failing to be incorporated into major leagues in the country. CGTN's Abdullah Zizbilo caught up with the team in Mogadishu and filed this report. This is Mogadishu's first deaf football team comprised of 30 members and their coach. Football has given them a chance to showcase their talent. 27-year-old Abdenasir Mohamed Jim'ale is the brains behind this impressive team that has earned both praise and respect from the Somali public. I am deaf. I cannot hear anything. The team is comprised of players from different regions of Mogadishu. We communicate via text message and that's how we meet together to play football. For Abdenasir and his team members, lack of recognition from the Football Association remains their biggest challenge. The players have now formed the Somali National Association of the Deaf in a bid to seek attention from other African organizations that assist the deaf in sports. Just like any other football team, we need sporting gear. Deaf people can play football. We recently received an invitation to play football in Kenya, but we cannot attend due to financial challenges. We are a team of 30 now and can play at both junior and international levels. The training is mostly done at this privately owned indoor pitch, but they have to pay for every time they train here. The determination by these players to form their own league proves once again that disability is not inability. But for them, the biggest challenge is lack of proper training facility. They train once a week because for each training it costs them $20 for every one hour at such pitch here in downtown Mogadishu. However, Abdel Nasser is still worried. Smugglers in the North African nation of Libya are holding five of the team members who fled Mogadishu in recent years seeking better life in Europe. Meanwhile, local sports journalists have helped highlight their plea in recent months. The team is now hoping that the government will intervene and help them take part in the Continental Deaf Football Championship set to take place in November in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. They lack proper training compared to other players from African countries. They lack the training facilities and it will take time before the public realize that deaf people can play sports on their own. The deaf players have special needs that must be addressed. For years now, sports is being used as a tool for integration in Somalia. And these footballers say that they are ready to become ambassadors of peace and play a role in bringing communities closer together. Abdul Aziz Bilal, CGTN, Mogadishu, Somalia.